Okay, yesterday we, uh, we were learning different things. Anyway, um, so after the wedding, we have what's called Sheva Brachas. We started learning. Sheva Brachas means if it's a first time marriage for either the boy or the girl, they're allowed to have a celebration of seven days with uh, Sheva Brachas, providing there's 10 people or at least seven people washing and uh, having bread. And then there's also a new face that wasn't there at the previous times. It's called Panim Chadoshes. And then you're able to have um, Shabbat Brachas. Now Shabbos and Yom Tif, you don't need a new face. Shabbos itself is called a new face. But according to uh, Halacha, for Shaloshudis, what happens for Sudesh Lishis if you want to make a Shabbat Brachas. So then... Um, you need to have a panam chadashis, a new face. If not, if there is no panam chadashis, you could bench and then you just say the bracha, shebara sas in the simcha, the last bracha. You don't say all the other six. You just say that last bracha, shebara sas in the simcha. But then there's an interesting question in halacha. Let's say you make, um, you have shlish, shalosh of this, and then you bench and you make shavar brachas. Now, what do you do with the wine? Because normally, when Shabbos sundown comes, you're not allowed to eat or drink anything unless if you started, if you washed and started eating before. So let's say, uh, for argument sake, Shki is five o'clock, yeah? So if I started, if I washed five to five, I can keep eating for another 10 hours. But if I didn't wash, or it's after five o'clock already, uh, you're not allowed to eat or drink anything until Avdallah. So now what happens? You bench at the meal with Sheva Brachas. You do the Sheva Brachas. Now usually at the end of the Sheva Brachas, the guy that benched says the Brei Piyagofen. He drinks. Then you mix the cups together and then the Chassan and Kala drink. But the question is, could they drink that before Avdallah? Because once you bench, the meal's over. So there's all different customs. Some people say the Chassan and Kala drink. A little bit. And other people say, no, they don't drink. You save the benching cup for Havdalah. And when the guy makes Havdalah, the Chosin and Kala listen. And the very Priya of Havdalah <laughs> is the seventh bracha of Priya Gofen. And then after Havdalah, the guy drinks and then the Chosin and Kala drinks. So now that either you push off the drinking until after Havdalah, some people say, you can uh, drink it even before Avdal because it's a mitzvah, it's a unique situation. Huh? There's no official Chabad custom. I've heard both ways already. No, you pour it into two different cups. Usually what happens is the guy that benches, you know, COVID things are, people are afraid of germs, but normally you have two cups. One cup of benching, and one cup for the Shava Brachas, right? So the guy benches, and then you have the guy over the second cup one, you make six Brachas. The seventh Brachas, the guy that benched makes a Brei Piyagofa. Now, normally, what's supposed to be, he drinks in the cup a little bit, and then he mixes the two top cups together. The cousin gets one, and Kala gets one. But now people are afraid of COVID or whatever. So what people do is, before the guy drinks from the benching cup, he'll pour it over into another cup, just for sanitary purposes. And then they mix those two cups together, not the cup that the, uh, that the guy that benched, or the bencher, as we call it. The guy that benched, uh, it was not, uh, they're not drinking from the cup that he uh, drank from. But again, so many people wait until after Shavabra, uh, until after Abdul, some people drink it right away. Okay, what happens if there's no pun, if there's no pun of Chadoshes? Okay? So then again, technically, you could do the Bracha Shebara, Sasim Simcha. But the custom is, if there's no new face, you just don't do it. That's it. Another name? In what language? In Gemara it's called Panam Chadoshes. In Shukhnar it's called Panam Chadoshes. I don't know. 
Stranger? No. Some people hold by Shalashudis if the Chosen uh, speaks Torah, so then that's called the Panim Chadashis, and then you can make regular Sheva Brachs even by Shalashudis. But whatever, the various different custom. Um, it says, in Kitzur it says the Chosen, other Paschim, it doesn't say who, so anybody basically. Ideally, the Chosen should be the one saying something. Um, now, what happens, this you have many times, you go to a wedding, and they're friends, you know, so one guy got married Monday night, another guy got married Wednesday night. So they want, and they want, both want to be at each other's weddings, they're friends, right? So now, so you come, the Monday night guy got married, so now he's coming Wednesday night to the wedding. But he wants to have a Shavar Brachs at the wedding, right? But the chassan has a Shavar Brachs at the wedding. So what, you're, what they do usually is, uh, at the end, whenever the chassan and Kala of Monday night want to leave, they uh, make a minion by a table, quietly, and they'll bench and do Shavar Brachas, and then they'll leave and, you know, everything else goes on the festivities, and then the other chassan and Kala of Wednesday night make it after the wedding like they normally would do. It's interesting, by, by years ago they stopped the Rebbe. The Rebbe, they used to, if uh, any chassan got married that week, so, and there was a ferbring, and that next Shabbos, they would make Shevar Brachs by the ferbring. There was 10 people washed the matzah, and whatever they would. So they used to make, sometimes they got to a point, they used to make one Shevar Brachs after another, like for five chassanim, they would. But the Rebbe stopped, he said there'd be a separation, there should be a separation between the different Shevar Brachs, so the Rebbe would talk again, whatever, it wasn't, um, but there was, it was interesting that people had Shevard Brachs by the Rebbe, the Rebbe answered, oh, man, it was good. It was huh? It can get lengthy. No, but they had one guy doing all the Shevard Brachs. It wasn't oh. one uh, giving out the cup, okay, you, you, uh, you know, it just one guy. Now, there's another interesting thing. The Torah says about Jews going to war, so it says, if a guy got married, he shouldn't go to war. He should be free for one year. And he should make his wife happy, you know, the first year. This concept called Shana Rishayna, that's a slow. Shana Rishayna means the chassan is really not allowed to leave town without permission of the kala. Now, Paskim right, if it's for a mitzvah, you could. Or he needs to go on a business trip. So the halacha says he's allowed to go, but ideally he should get permission from his new wife for the first year that she gives him permission to go out of town. Because there is a concept of Shana Rishen. The Torah says he has to make his wife happy. Not the, maybe he'll make her happy by leaving for a few days. I don't know. You don't know that. Yeah. So then you have, even in the time of the Gemara, by the way, in the time of the Gemara, in fact, there's a story of Shimba Yechoi. He got married, and his friends came to the wedding. Great Tanoim, Tomer Shimba Yechoi. And right after the Shavabrach, he wanted to go back to, back to Yeshua to learn. That's what they used to do. They used to get married. After Shavabrach, they went away for a few months. That's what they did in those days. Go away for a few months or a year, whatever, but that was the normal procedure. So he says to his friend, wait until I finish Shabbat Brachs, then we'll go back together. And the guy said, no, I'm not waiting. I have to go back to Yeshiva. So the guy went back to Yeshiva, but one of Rav Shem colleagues. And Rav Shem went uh, after uh, Shabbat Brachs. But, but again, today, I wouldn't suggest that today, to do that today. If you go there, you go today, either you don't come back or they don't let you back. One of the two. So it shouldn't, uh, it's not something which normally is done. Um, but again, even then, the, the Shailas does Mechila help. Uh, Mechila forgiveness helps. The Kala could uh, forgive him. But for instance, 
The week of Shavar Brachas, we mentioned this. The week of Shavar Brachas, technically, you're not allowed to go to work, you're not allowed to do anything. You have to spend time together. Now, if the Kala gets permission for the Chosim, because he needs to work, whatever, then he's allowed to go to work. But there's another issue in Aloha about a Chosim Kala the week before and the week after. This is a custom and a din. Okay? A Chosim is a king, a Kala is a queen. So there's a minig at least in our circles, that, in a lot of religious circles. Chosin and Kala don't see each other for a week before the wedding. They don't see each other from a week before the wedding until actually the Chosin puts the veil over the Kala. That's when he sees her after a week of not seeing her. So they don't see each other. Uh, in some places they do a few days before, but unofficially the Chabad custom is a week before. Um, that is, why? For protection, Shmira. Now, I'm sorry. Not only that, <laughs> they don't walk in the streets alone. There's always walking with, so it could be a little kid walking them. But they have a shoymer, it's called. Somebody protecting them. Why? It's similar to, you know, be, the night before Brit Mila, they have, they're up a whole night learning and saying Zohar and, you know, all that stuff. Why is that? So it says in Allah, because the bris is so, so important, such a holy thing, the satan and the bad angels would like to do everything possible that it shouldn't happen. So when the father is up a whole night, so then that's the learning third, that's the protection that nothing, God forbid, should happen. That's why it says, if a bris is Shabbos day, then you don't need to stay up Friday night because Shabbos itself is shmira. Shabbos itself protects that's so why we say Shemir Sameh Yisrael Lad or whatever. Shabbos is a Shemitah. So there, it's also the week before the wedding, Chosin and Kala don't go themselves because they need protection, spiritual protection, so to speak. The week after is more of a locha because now they have a din of a king and a, king and a queen, and you don't find a king walking himself. So even if the Chosin and Kala are going with each other, so some places the custom is they watch each other. You know, they're, they're each other shamed. But in our circles, many circles, it's not enough. So the chosen and kala don't go alone in the street without somebody else tagging along. And sometimes he's a little kid or whatever. But they try not to walk alone in the street, not the week before, not the week after. Because of, uh, you know, in Shmira or because they have a din of a chosin and kala, so they need uh, respect. It's not... Uh... Okay, another thing is... Anyway, but another thing is, it's a case of miragun of kala, so it's a mitzvah to dance in front of the chosin and kala. But in Allah it says very emphatically, I know people don't do this very too much, but ideally there has to be completely separate dancing no mingling of the men and the women during the dancing. Should be completely separate in the from circles. They don't even bring the kala into the chosin side or the chosin into the kala side. They don't do that. Chosin stays on the chosin side. The kala stays on the kala side. He's dancing with his friends. She's dancing with her friends and relatives or whatever. But you don't do it because of it's not uh, it's inappropriate. What? Never saw, never heard. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Okay. <laughs> I, I will confess my sins again. There are more things I don't know than I do know. Because I know, I know what I don't know. I know what I don't know. So when I say I don't know, I don't know. I'm not uh, embarrassed to say I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Never heard it. No, and then... And they put it around the car, yes, yes. and an elderly person just goes around... Exactly, yes. It's very common. I've seen it a lot of times. Again, I didn't say it's common, I didn't say it's uncommon. I said, I have never seen it. That's it. 
Maar het vindt zo'n meisje met mijn gewil, maar mijn kind is zo blijven altijd op een gang als je hem weet. Dat 